Greetings, Pilgrims. Welcome back to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. And today we are continuing with our Ultimate Battle Royale series. Now, today is another day that a lot of you have been looking forward to. We are going to be installing our Photon networking setup. Now, I did mention in the first episode that we were planning on using Bolt, but due to some advanced testing, bringing up some underlying issues that I just don't feel comfortable with presenting to all of you, we will be moving on with Photon Pun 2 instead. And not to worry, there's a lot more examples, and we already have a lot of stuff working behind the scenes. We already have multiplayer, obviously. We have private, uh, f uh, private groups. We have friends lists, we have shooting, we have animations, everything. So it's it's working, so we're going to continue with that instead. Okay? So not to worry, we're going to get it all sorted. So today we're just going to go over getting pun installed and what we need to do with going to the website to get our account and get what is an app ID, how do we set up everything, all these questions and more will be answered. So let's go ahead and get started. So we know that we need Photon Pun 2. So let's go to the asset store. And we'll bring this up here in a second. Here we go. Boop. There it is. Now I'm going to do a search here for pun two. And you may have seen I've searched for it before because obviously I've done this more than once. <laughs> so now let's scroll down a little bit and you'll see that pun two, photon pun two, free multiplayer. It is by Exit Games. This is the one you want. It looks just like this. So we're going to click that. Now for me, I've already downloaded it once on this computer, so this does not say download, it says import, but for you it might say download. So go ahead and click download, and when that's finished, then we're going to click import, and you'll see it'll say decompressing, going to bring everything down. Again, I've already done this once, so it's going to look a little different when it shows up, but for me this took about 45 seconds the first time. Okay, so I want everything, so I'm going to say all, I don't know why it's not, yeah, all. You will see a whole bunch of things right here that say new because all of these files will be new for you the first time you download them, right? For me, I haven't done that yet, or I've done that once already. So I don't have the new here, but don't worry. You'll see new, 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 That's perfectly fine. You don't have to do anything else except click import. And there you go, it'll be imported. So now if I go to my assets, you'll see I have a new folder called Photon. There it is, very cool. So now we need to set up our project, but it's going to ask us for something. So let's, we're going to purposely run into that roadblock so we can work through it together. Okay. So, okay. Latida, I downloaded Photon. I'm ready to go. Right. So I go to Window, Photon Unity Networking, Pun Wizard, and this pops up. Cool. This is a handy little thing to say, okay, you're trying to set everything up. Here's your documentation. Very important. Uh, here's some information about locating your server settings, which we'll get to that in a second. Um, cloud dashboard login, that's very handy to take us right to the website. We'll go there in a moment as well. But I want to set up my project, right? So I'm going to click that. And then it says, hey, thanks. This window will help you set up. You're going to need an app ID. Well, what is an app ID? So an app ID or application identification number, technically, this is a number. Think of it like a key. When you play online games, you need a room code to enter the room code. This is the way that Photon says, hey, a player is playing a multiplayer game using Photon Networking, what game should I send them to? What game are they logging into? So this is how it knows to go to your game versus other games. Makes sense, right? So we need an app ID. So we're gonna go to the website. So I'm gonna pull up the website here. So it is photonengine.com. That will take you to this website right here. And you're gonna to need to sign in or create a new account. If you haven't created a new account yet, then go ahead and do that. I'm going to click sign in. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm going to click put in my email address, click remember me, I'm not a robot, and I'm going to click sign in. If you don't have an account, it'll be right here. Just click and create one and then do this whole sign in process, okay? So I'm going to click sign in and this is what it will bring me to. Now for you, you're not going to have all this stuff down here that I'm blurring out to protect my clients, but uh, you're just going to see this button that says create a new app. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click that. So this will come up and we're going to say, hey, photon type, I want to choose pun. That's what we're using. Put in a name for your application. Again, I already have this, but I'm just going to follow along. Ultimate Battle Royale Tutorial, right? You can put in a description. And if you have a website for your game, you can put that here and then click create. Again, I've already done this, so it physically will not let me click it, but I'm going to just go back to the dashboard. So you'll click create and then this will come up. And again, from dashboard, I just want to reiterate, 
it's this button here that says your applications once you're signed in and that will bring you to this okay so these are all of your applications again blurring to protect my clients and here we are so this is the one we're going to be using ultimate battle royale tutorial and it's going to say you have 20 ccu cool what is that so ccu stands for concurrent connected user so this is how many users are currently connected to your game and you can have 20 of them at any one time up to 20 players right uh, the fire department says only 20 people allowed in this building so that's as many as you can have all at once now for our example project that we're going to be building here together we're only going to use 13 of those that leaves you seven more if you want to do extra stuff or different game entirely totally up to you but for free from Photon, you get 20. So for us, we're using 13. One is gonna be our standalone kind of master client that we're gonna use as a little server so we can connect everybody else to it. Then we have 12 more so that we can have any combination of single player, duos, trios, or a squad of four. So we can have 12 single players, six teams of two, four teams of three, or three teams of four. Perfect number, because that allows us to test all the different types of teams, all with just 12 players. Sounds good. So what we need to do is we need to get our app ID, which is right here. You'll see it kind of gets cut off. There's a little dot, dot, dot. All you need to do is click once. It will highlight the entire thing. So on Windows, I'm hitting Control C to copy that. And that's all we need. So now I'm gonna go back to Unity here and it says app ID, please. And I'll say Control V to paste. Gladly set up the project for me. Boom, now you'll notice right away, a couple things changed on my screen. It's pointing me to this file that is under assets, photon, Photon Unity Networking Resources, and this is my Photon Server Settings. So this is a few more setup we need to do. We have Pun installed into our project. We've created an app online. We have the app ID, which is right here, and it put it right here for us, which is very nice. Eventually, we'll need an app ID chat so that we can say, hey, what is the chat texting? We're also gonna do voice at one point. So we're gonna put that here in the future. But for now, just a few more settings here to make sure that everything is all good. Your app version, this is totally up to you. Um, the default is 0.01. .01. That makes sense, you just started the project, right? Our fixed region, now for testing purposes, I recommend you set this to your region. So for me, it's gonna be US, right? If you're in Europe, it's EU. I'm sorry, I don't know the rest, but for US, that's what I put in is US. And there is a chart somewhere you can look up I don't know if it tells you, but if you just do a Google search for Photon server, you know, server names, whatever, it'll come up. Then down here, we're gonna say under pun logging, if this does not say full, I would, I would choose full. That way it gives you all the information about what's happening, not just the errors, okay? And then for dev region, also set this to your region. So for me, again, it's US. It defaulted for me, that's good. This means that for me, when I do testing with some of the other members of the pilgrimage behind the scenes, you know, in advance of the episodes for you guys, I have to test things with them. So I'll send it to them and I need to set this as US since we're all in the US by, by happenstance. Uh, that means that it doesn't try to go to like a European server and we get crazy lag for some reason. So we make sure that it kind of keeps it local. So that's good. Again, that's all the settings we need to set. That's it, everything's done. So now we just click close and we can click on anything else if you want to get that to go away. And if we look at our assets, we have under the Photon folder. Let's take a quick look and see what's here, just so we understand everything. We have two files here. This is the documentation PDF, which is very nice. And then we have a chum file, which is a um, help file. If you've gone to help in a program, what comes up? I wonder if Unity does it. I haven't really used their help, to be honest. I just go to the website. <laughs> But uh, if you go to their um, their help file, you can do a search, you can do a filter by topics, that's what this file is. Then we have these four folders. So this is most of the scripting for the networking itself, for the real time stuff, uh, their library files, and this is specific to the chat. So all of these files, if you open them up, you can see there's, uh, there's a readme, it'll tell you all about it. You can read up whatever you like. Um, and then as you get into the code, it'll show you this is the actual code. So don't go editing these things because this is what makes Photon Unity Networking work, right? So we want to keep that stuff safe. Okay, so that's all for today. So we've got another important step done with our project here. We have Photon set up and installed. I showed you the website. Um, links will be in the description, of course, for all of this in case you need it. And uh, when I put the project up, I will be using that same app ID. I may or may not have to remove it. We'll do some testing and see how that works, but 
I, I need to use it for the project and for testing. But um, if I put it up there and you guys start pulling down the repo and using that, which we'll get to in the next episode, um, it might cause some problems. So I might have to remove it to put the project up and you'll have to create your own app ID and, and kind of fill it in. If that becomes the case, I will work with some of the advanced members and we'll come up with clear instructions on how to handle that. So don't worry about that, okay? So for today, congratulations. You've got Unity Photon Networking installed. We are one step closer to getting guys running around shooting at each other. I know that's what you're all looking forward to. I apologize, these first couple of videos are a lot of talking and some slow steps, but it's so important to get all this stuff hooked up and connected properly. I promise you very soon you'll see this ramp up as we start doing all the cool stuff. But for now, that foundation needs to be laid properly, nice and good and strong. And then we can build on top of that an awesome game. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. And until next time, guys, keep practicing, get better, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.